Welcome. This is 49B3 and the title of this is Wave Speed. So we want to find out how quickly waves move through the medium. Um, well, the frequency is how many waves pass a point each second. If you think about it, if we have a medium and we have a point, then every time we get one oscillation of that point, that means a crest and a trough has passed. So we can interpret that as being, you know, that just passed. And if it happens again, then another one just passed. Whoops, Daisy. Then, then another one just passed. Um, so the frequency is how many waves pass a point each second. And then the wavelength is how long each wave is. So the speed would be the frequency times the wavelength. If you like, as an analogy, you can say that the frequency is how many, uh, your cadence, how quickly you make steps. So this is like steps per second. And your wavelength is how long each step is. So if I want to know how fast I'm going, I say, well, how many steps do I take a second and how long is each step? If I walk at one meter per step and I do five st steps per second, that's five times one is five meters per second. So I can get it conceptually from that. I can also get it from uh, frequency. Frequency uh, is basically the number of cycles per second and wavelength is meters and if I look at the units for that that gives me meters per second if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck it's a duck if it's in meters per second then it's a, a speed or a velocity okay so that's pretty straightforward b equals f lambda um, I also know of course that f is equal to 1 over the period so I can simply substitute in for for the uh, uh, frequency and I get V equals lambda over the period. That's uh, just a different form. Um, what's also interesting is that I can go to the angular and I can say, well, my wavelength is equal to two pi over my angular wave number, not my spring constant, remember. This is K, the angular wave number. And I know that my frequency is equal to omega over two pi. I can also say, that um, uh, if V equals F lambda, I can say that F is equal to, well, V is equal to omega over two pi. And I can say that lambda equals two pi over K. So this would equal omega over K. And again, if I, if I check my units, my omega is in radians per second. And my K is in radians per meter. So if I cancel these out, I get meters per second. So three different versions to give you the um, velocity. Let's look at a couple of examples. Student strides with a step size of two meters and a step rate of eight strides a second. What is a velocity? So a velocity is equal to uh, length of stride times oh, times stride per second. So V is going to equal length of stride is two meters and strides per second is eight. That's going to equal 16 meters per second for that one. And then for the next one, uh, a wavelength, a wave has a wavelength, so lambda is equal to six meters, and a frequency is equal to four hertz. What is the velocity? Well, if V equals F lambda, so V is equal to F, which is four, times hertz, which is six, which equals 24 meters per second, which is that one. And then the last one, a wave 
has a angular wave number k is equal to 8 radians per meter and an angular frequency omega is equal to 4 radians per second and then what is its velocity oh man this is hard to remember but it's not hard to figure out with units I need to have meters on top and therefore my k must go on the bottom and I need to have seconds on the bottom and therefore omega must go on top can you see that if I have uh, omega on top I have uh, radians per second and if I have k on the bottom I have radians per meter and when you play with that you're gonna end up remember you take this guy to the top and you flip it so you get meters per second so I know this is the right way around yeah in part I remember it but also I can use units to get it so then V is going to equal omega and we said that omega was equal to uh, 4 and then the angular wave number is equal to 8 which equals 0 0.5 meters per second units or dimensional analysis are often your, your best friend they, they help you figure out which way round things should be so pay a lot of attention to units it will really help you so there we have it